Hi sewing friends, welcome to my sewing room. My name is Beth and if you're new, welcome. This quilt is my $1 quilt that I started a while back. I shared how I made these quilt blocks in a previous video and I will leave that information below. And this video is the finishing up of that quilt I started and just uh, takes a while to make a quilt. Even when you have all of the quilt blocks ready to go, it does say, take some time. So I took all my quilt blocks, I had to lay them out on the floor again, remember how they all went together, and then I started joining them in rows, and then I put those rows together. When I made this, these quilt blocks, I used a cotton sheet, a pink cotton sheet, and I used some light colored fabrics to add all of those strips. And like I said before, the um, directions for how to make this quilt block is on a previous video, my $1 quilt video, and I will leave that link below. So it did take some time to put all of my blocks together, and I had enough blocks to make a twin size quilt. Well, actually it's not quite twin until I add the borders. And I'm gonna show you in a couple minutes how I added borders to these quilt blocks. I was hoping I would have enough of that pink fabric to add a thin pink border all the way around and I just barely made it. I have very little of that pink cotton fabric left, but I had just enough to add one small border. I do use the floor in my sewing room to lay my quilts out when they're this big just so I can keep everything in order. It makes it a lot simpler for me and of course I had to pin all of those seams as I went along. This quilt will be a little bit heavier because it has that foundation square under all of those strips, but that's fine. And actually, just to share today, I had my family over and this quilt has already been claimed by a granddaughter, so it will be quilted in the near future. When someone claims a quilt, I get it quilted up and um, while I'm waiting to decide who gets it, it is not quilted. It just makes it a lot simpler uh, for storage here at my house not to have a bunch of quilted quilts that take up a lot of room. You can tell in some of these uh, shots here that I did remove some of the background fabric in these blocks so that when I had the seams coming together instead of four layers of fabric, I would only have two layers of fabric. So it was on the outside of these blocks where I could remove just a little bit of that background foundation fabric so that it would not be quite as bulky. It wasn't a hundred percent. There are some seams that do have four layers, but I was able to um, just take some of that bulk away.
was done with my quilt blocks, I wanted to add some border, and this is all I had left of that pink fabric. I had some extra squares. I cut a few more than I needed, and here is the leftover from those long uh, strips of fabric where I had cut squares. I had some leftover pieces. And then this is the last of that cotton sheet. And I figured out uh, that I would not be able to do even a two inch border around. I w there wasn't quite enough here to do two inches. So I'm going to cut one and three quarter inch strips. And I will have just enough to get around my quilt. you can see here this is the very top of the sheet where there's a double layer of fabric so again I cut one and three quarter inch pieces here and I needed pretty much all of the rest of this sheet to get around my quilt did have to get my larger rotary blade out. I mainly use that smaller one. I don't know, it just seems more comfortable to me and it usually does fine, but with this thick layer of fabric, I got the big guns out and I got this big rotary cutter and of course that worked a lot better. After cutting all those strips, I did not have much left, not much at all, and that can go in the um, trash. I don't throw much fabric away, but when it's teeny tiny, it goes in the trash. So all I had to do now was work around this quilt with those one and three quarter inch strips. I did have to piece some together, not too many, and I laid it on my table, I pinned, and then I put these strips all the way around. Since this quilt is so scrappy, it really needed a scrappy border, I thought. It would have been a lot easier to add just one fabric all the way around. I'm aiming for five inches all the way around to make this twin size. And let me tell you, I really thought it would be so much easier if I could just add one fabric, cut it five inches wide, and slap it on, and I'll be done. 
but uh, I knew it would look so much better if I added some scraps all the way around. So I pulled out some light colored floral type scraps to add around my quilt and I'm going to sew them together in pairs and then I'll cut my little pairs in five inch chunks and then I'll start just sewing them together and working around this quilt and just filling that whole outer border with some more really pretty strips of fabric. Here I'm cutting my five inch chunks and it doesn't take really all that many to work around even a twin size quilt. So this didn't take as long as I had thought it would. I tried the longer the strips of uh, fabrics here, of course, the more you're going to get. And I just tried to get as many as I could. I was even able to find some leftover what I call a piano key border. I found some leftovers from another quilt that really went really well with this one. So all I had to do was start piecing these little two pieces of strips together and work around my quilt. What I did with my two piece chunks is I put them together in groups of three or four 
pieces so that when I work around my quilt it'll be a little bit easier to move them around and piece them together as needed. Here it is on my floor. I've added all of my strips all around just to kind of gauge how many I need. And now I'm going to start piecing them into longer strips, just the size I need and laying it there on my floor. It's real easy. I don't measure. I just lay it on the quilt or next to the quilt so that I know how much I need. And then when I get Closer to the finish line, I'll just add strips to each of these long strips as needed to make it the right length. And here's that pieced border from a previous quilt that I think goes really well with this quilt I'm working on right now. It was left over and I had it filed away with my scraps, so it was Great to find that. I think I had to trim off just a little bit because it had been six inches before. Now I made it five inches and it will fit in really well with this quilt. Here's my finished quilt top. It is just so pretty. This is my favorite kind of quilt and I love pink. So I'm happy that my granddaughter also liked it. I'll be quilting it up and giving it to her very soon. Thanks for joining me today and I'll see you next time.